All right, guys, we got a bit of an interesting one today. So I did a deal with a good friend of mine, and it was kind of a kind of a bit of a trade slash cash cash situation. There we go. And we got the uh, it's off camera because it's a lot. Hundred and seven packs of double masters. The I think two six packs of Kaladesh, two shadows, Aether Eldritch, some Bolshitsky 2014 foreign language thing, pack of dragons of Tarkir. We got four eight nine Amon Ket. We also got four eight. 12, 13, Dark Ascension, and the two shadows of Rannistrad. So it's 13, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 30, 34, 35 packs of loose, and the 107 packs of Double Masters for $2,300 is what it was. Um, it was a nice friendly price. I got a bit of a discount because we're doing a bit of a trade cash deal kind of thing and it was it was nice so i got more cardboard we exchanged cardboard for cardboard and you know everyone won uh my actual cost basis on this is 1300 dollars in cash plus the card that i traded over uh the card that i traded over i opened up out of a wtr box it was a fab card it graded very very well um, and it went from probably 400 dollars to a thousand dollars uh my cost basis on the wtr box was it was from a case I think, my case, I think that case was like effectively like free from a deal that I did. But yeah, so that's uh, that was fun. So this my cost basis in here is around like $1,700, $1,800, give or take, uh, once you do all the Barney math. But this stuff is going to be saved for a separate video. And what we're going to do is open up what will effectively be two boxes of double masters. Double, double, doubles. Ugh. Gotta move some stuff out of the way here. Oh, get those over there. Get my handy dandy ever filling trash bag of pack wrappers. See, look, this, see what I have on top from the last time? Thornville Drain. Hey, yo. And then uh, we'll push this down again. And let's see here. Let's grab all these loosey gooseys. A 24 packs times two. So five, 10, 15, I was originally going to open up all all 107 in one big ass video, but then I realized like, you know, that's a lot of opening in one sitting and I may as well split out a multi thousand dollar purchase into several episodes because why not? Because I'm cheap like that. There we go. There's 20. 20. Oh, that's a heavy plate pack now. Um, yeah, and these actually were the were the sorry gifts that Watsy gave everyone from the we took too long to ship something out something from ages ago. And there we go. Now we have two boxes of double masters. Wham bam jam. Get this over here. We're obviously hoping for pure insanity, so all mythics, just lots and lots of mythics in here. Uh, foil Mana Crypt would be really sick. Chrome Chrome Mox, I think, is in here. Um, there's like random foils that are really expensive. Lightning Greaves is in here. Dark Steel Axe. Let's see here. Treasure Mate. Was that the? There's a few. There's a few uh, uncommons actually that are really surprisingly pricey. Rares. 
Kinder foil, nice. Okay. But yeah, our goal is hopefully to hit at least two mana crypts out of here. That would be pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if we'll do that or not, but we'll see. We're certainly going to try. Sift, Sylvan Might, and another Servo Token. Okay. Wow, I'm sensing a theme here on these Servo Tokens. Goodness. Hey, Corridor Monitor. There we go. Disciple of the Vault. Sundering Titan. Different, different token, there we go. Yeah, I think some of the tokens actually in Double Masters are weirdly expensive too. Um, and this was also a set that I had a few random packs of from a purchase. And I opened all of those on the channel as well. Ooh, Cyclonic Rift, there we go. I know that's a decent rare. Like 25, 30 bucks, or was. I know it got reprinted. Don't know if it still is worth 25 or 30 bucks, but hey, we'll take it. Mistress Bobbles is a few dollars. Okay. Still no mythics. We're looking for that wonderful, wonderful mythic here. Oh boy. So, as I am recording this, Salt Monolith, that's one of the good uncommons, I believe. Uh, as I'm recording this, uh, I am getting ready for Collecticon this weekend, and we have a, we're going to have a pretty interesting amount of stuff. Going to have a, ooh, Engineering Explosives, nice, Council's Judgment. And uh, we're going to have a pretty decent amount of stuff there. I'm going to have some magic stuff that's going to be for sale, some newer magic. Uh, I'm going to have some pl plenty of Flesh and Blood and stuff there as well. I'm also going to have uh, what is what is left of my loose meta zoo. Um, Academy ruins, nice. Uh, I don't care what I get for the meta zoo, obviously, because it's well, yeah, that's unfortunate. But is what that is. I'm gonna have some sorcery and stuff there. I'm also going to have. Ah, oh, man, just one, one mythic, man, one mythic. Thirst for Knowledge, by the way, is, I think, one of those expensive uncommons. I'd love to see a foil Lightning Greaves, too, actually. That'd be pretty sweet. I'm pretty sure that was in this set. Ah, still no mythic. Still no mythic. What are the odds that, like, Watsy, like... Went through, opened up the packs, pulled out all the mythics, and then like sent out all the crappy ones. There's no way they took the time for that though. That would be so crazy. Man. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. See what I think happened is they probably just went through and took boxes and broke them down, is my guess. We're just, we're just, we're not getting there yet. I think Cyclonic Rift has been our best, uh, our best hit so far. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Ooh, there we go. Their mythics do exist. They do exist. Okay. Whew. I broke the, broke the V ceiling there on that one. We finally, we finally got the juice. I knew it was possible, but, whew. It's just good to, it's a feels good moment when they finally, you finally hit the, hit the stuff. <laughs> ooh, 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 I know that card. That is a, that's a rare foil to hit. Um, at one point, Thoughtseize was like 30 or 40 bucks. I don't know if it still is or not. Um, I am going to do what I did with Throne of Eldrain, which is kind of go over the pongify <laughs> uh, ooh there we go another mythic 
um, which is go over all of the value that I pull out of this, um, and we'll see how close to twenty, you know, twenty three hundred dollars I can get, or if I can break it with just the big stuff. And obviously, like all the commons and uncommons, I don't I don't count those into the value. I do sell all of them, but I don't like actively like count those in my initial EV for something when I open it. I just know as like an afterthought, like okay, if my total EV on a set is like 220 and I can buy it for 180 with just rares and mythics and basic lands if they're in there or whatever whatever juiciness there is, then I know like I'm good to go because you know I'm gonna have all this extra money left over from the commons and uncommons. Um, as a bit of a spoiler, well, spoiler, this is going to go out after Throne of Eldraine, but the Throne of Eldraine one, I didn't do amazing, but I did, ooh, Noble Hierarch, I think that's still a few, few bucks, Urza's Power Plant, sick foil, um, I did well enough, I think it ended up being just just under or just over. Hey, there we go, lightning greaves. Um, just under or ah, there we go, sword. Sword, the sword of body and mind. Um, I ended up doing just under or just over three thousand dollars. I think on all the EAs and all the extended stuff and all the fancy rares, mythics, etc. And ooh, another cyclonic rift. There we go. Stoneforge Mystic, that's a good rare too, I believe. And, you know, that doesn't take into account all the foil commons, foil uncommons, all my regular commons, etc. So, like, once it's all said and done, um, I will make probably, you know, three, four hundred bucks on that. Uh, which, you know, for 10% after fees and everything else, like, it's not a great margin for profit. I didn't hit amazingly. Um, I'm also going to take some of that stuff down with me to the Collecticon and we'll see if we can maybe get it sold for, you know, some premiums and dodge out on some some seller fees on TCG player and stuff because, you know, if I can go sell a foil of Great Hens down there for like 120 bucks and on TCG player they're like 100 and, you know, 30 for me that's a huge win because, you know, I don't even have to spend the money or time. Ooh, Dark Confident, another Mythic. I don't have to spend the money or the time to ship that out to an individual or to direct or anything else. It's just, I get straight cash in my pocket there. And who knows, maybe I can trade up the card or something or, you know, get something fun with it. But we will see how that goes. Phyrexian Metamorph, not bad. Man, we get three foil rares. That, that seems high. Wow. See, if it's like Ultimate Masters, which I'm guessing, it's got to be like a similar similar ratio, I would assume. Oh, and Snaring Bridge there. Oh, <laughs> what a pack. And two Uncommon Foils. Ooh, yeah, that's some, that's some spicy stuff. A Welding Jar. Treasure Mage. Ooh, another Cyclonic Rift. Oh, man. That's three of those. Wow. Let me double check the price of those. I think they're like 25 or 30 bucks still. Oh, another rare foil. Okay, we're hitting like crazy good on the rare foils. That's kind of bananas. Uh, yeah, so it's, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Let's see what we can do. Um, you know, maybe, maybe we get some spicy stuff going on at Collecticon. I'm pretty well prepared, I think, cash-wise. Um, I have a fairly decent wallet for buys. Um, pretty much my goal when I'm down there is to buy as much stuff as I possibly can and sell as much stuff that I bring with me that I can and then take all that money and then also convert that into more cash. Um, so the the more I can get, the better. Um, I also have a credit card thing set up finally I need to test at some point. We will, we will see. We will see if I can get that done too before I leave. 
I've just been so busy. Tomorrow I'll have some more time, hopefully, to like get through some stuff and actually knock some of this stuff off my list so I can be ready. Another foil rare. Oh my god. Okay, that has to be high. Like you don't just hit this many foil rares. Like there's no way. Oh my gosh, worm coil engine? What a Actually, that got reprinted in Brothers War. I think that's not expensive at all. <laughs> we're not hitting great on the Mythics, guys. We're not hitting great. Actually, we're hitting pretty terrible on the Mythics, I think. We're doing pretty solid on the Rares and the Uncommons, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Actually, really... That's five foil Rares already. Holy crap. If we had a foil Mythic, too... That would be crazy. Crazy as can be. Okay. Scarab God. There we go. That. This was a $60, $70 card. I do not know if it still is. I doubt it, but we will we will see. I actually might know someone that needs one of those. I need to go message them on Discord and see. Ta -da. I hit so many of those pented prisms. Good lord. Hiya! Okay, another double uncommon foil pack. Oh man, so many uncommons in here. See, that's the one nice thing about this set, is like the average uncommon is like 25 or 30 cents. So there's pretty good EV in these, even from just like the like a bulk standpoint. <coughs> Goodness. Sorry about that. Riku. Oh, uh, double mythic pack. Let's go. Okay. I might, I might just take like a minute and look up some of these mythics and see how we did at the end of this, because I think I have some time, especially if I'm splitting this into like multiple videos now. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, that is, that is a mythic right there. Doubling season. That is a $40 card right now that was a $110. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell that. I think I'm going to hold on to it. Brainstorm is a dollar common, I think. Um, and I'm going to watch that climb back up to uh, 70 to 100 plus dollars probably. Because that card is just really strong. And actually... It's a token card with Bloom Barrow, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually climbing already. To be completely honest with you, would not be one bit surprised if I go look that up and that has not gone up at all. I would be very, very surprised. Um, I fully expect that doubling season to go up because anything that makes tokens in Bloom Barrow is just like super strong. And there's uh, some pretty gnarly commander cards in there that are uh, sort of the meek. Okay. Batter skull, another mythic. God dang. Okay, you know what? All the all the initial bitching was uh, totally worthwhile. I don't know what. I did forty eight packs. Wow, forty eight packs. Either I hit like every mythic that was in here already, which would be semi unfortunate, or there is some cereal juice in these packs. I guess it makes sense because I mean this set's like six hundred dollars a box, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, I think that's one of the uncommons. It's a few bucks. Master Transmute. Okay. Mistress Factory Foil. We are entering into the final few packs here. Let's see how we how we do. Ooh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. That used to be an expensive card, and then it got reprinted in, into into absolute trash tier. I don't even think that's like a like a top tier commander anymore. I don't even think it's a A tier commander anymore. I think it's like a B or C tier. Like that card got murked. It's wrecked. It's the rickety wrecked. Guyvian Riddle Smith. Yeah, that almost looks like like a middle finger right there. Like, just saying. It's almost like a middle finger going on. A little middle finger action. 
Okay, so I think it's safe to say that the mythic rates on this is much higher than Ultimate Masters was. Because that was like four, maybe five mythics in a box. Uh, either we hit every mythic out of 107 packs already, which would be honestly kind of like an, a statistic anomaly. Like for them to be mixed up and hit every mythic like that, that would be that would be very impressive. Also, five foil rares is crazy. Like that's that's spicy. I can get behind that. Okay, we're coming up into the close here. Rare. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Little tucky tuk. Okay, the last pack. Can we hit something juicy? Oh god, imagine if we ended on a mana crypt. That would be bananas. That would be so sick though. Not even lying. That would be That would be sick. Ah, okay. No mana crypt. Okay, how long is this video? 21 minutes? Hmm. Okay. Let me look at the metrics real quick. Okay, let's see here. We did get Force of Will. We did hit Doubling Season. No Mox Opal. No Chrome Mox. of body and mind. I think we got that one. Yeah, Jace is 16, 13. Oh, and Staring Bridge is actually 10 bucks. Okay, that's not horrible. Scarab Grab is only $11. War Foil is 8. Oh my gosh. War in Peace. Fear Recruit is $8. Oh man. Oof. Oof. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, well. Ugh. Well, uh, sad days. We have we have a decent amount of value, I guess. There's about 45, 70, 75, 80, 95. Call it a call it 105. 115, 125, 100, 140, 150 bucks, something like that in Mythics. That's not horrible. I wonder what the rares are. I know there's some spicy rares in here too. Let me check these real quick. Okay. Okay. We did we did really good on the rares actually. Let's see here. That's some money. That's some money. Fire like thicker, did we pass that? 
Yep, that's some money. Let's see here. What else do we got in here? Engineered explosive this is not what we're looking for. There we go. Big money. More money. That's good money too. Can't complain about that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so we got, I mean, that's like an easy hundred. I mean, this is probably close to another 100 right there. Huh, okay. I mean, we can't complain too bad. So we got like 10 packs. There's like about a about 15 packs. So about like, you know, eh, like almost 20 packs right here, plus all this, plus all this. That's not horrible. I can't really complain. I know this is, the Escron Scepter is a really good hit. Stoneforge Mystic Foil is going to be a really nice hit. Like these, these in non-foil, this is like 11 bucks. This is like 17 or 18. Since these are foil, they're probably going to be a, a decent chunk more. Which isn't too horrible. I mean, you know, we didn't do bad. Let's see here. Uh, you know what? We got, we got another minute. Let me check the uncommons real quick. I know there's a few that are like four or five bucks. Let's see. Uncommon, rare, but the button, check that box. Oh shoot! Okay, we actually hit some of the some of the big ones. Fatal push. That's a dollar fifty plus. Pongify is another good hit. Basalt monolith is big. Okay, that's not bad at all. I know we hit at least one lightning grape too. It was somewhere in here. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna give it one one shot here. There it is. Ha! Ah! Nailed it. I know we hit one lightning grape, which is not bad. And then I think what the heck is the common? That's like a dollar or something. Common. Yeah, so each of the Urza's tower and mine and plant, those are about a dollar. Mirror retriever is like a dollar and change. There's a dollar, there's a dollar or two. And then brainstorm and expedition map are also pretty, pretty, pretty spicy if we have those in here. That's what I'm saying, is like it doesn't it's really hard when you monetize like every single every single bit of every card and pack it's really hard to like lose money on stuff like this because like there's just so much value and so many things like it's just it just adds up so quick like there's probably like at least five or six dollars of the foils there and that's in commons you know i have another ten dollars plus there i have probably 40 or 50 here plus change there's probably several two to three hundred dollars of the rares minimum. I have like two hundred plus dollars in mythics. You know, I opened up what was it, forty eight packs at twenty dollars a piece, so eight hundred and nine hundred and twenty bucks. I mean, you know, two three hundred bucks, two three hundred bucks, hundred bucks, fifty sixty bucks. You know, there's all of a sudden five hundred bucks, six hundred dollars, six fifty. You know. 700 
all this, like, you know, this adds up so quick. 750, all my tokens and stuff, you know, I monetize all these. This is probably another 10, 20 bucks in tokens, or over $800. And then you have all my commons in here. We didn't hit amazing on this, but like, you know what I mean? Like, this is like, it's one of those things where it just like, the value just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up and adding up. Like, if we hit a few more lightning greaves or something in like that, then that would be just golden. But you know, there's two, three hundred dollars in rares right there. Just like just this, it's two, three hundred dollars in rares. And I have all of these to go through. That's a hundred plus rares. Mana reflection. I think that was a few bucks. Like it's just there's so much value in these. Like I just it's just crazy to me. It just takes more time to do it and just like monetize everything. But I have been like super happy if I could have gotten these down to like fifteen a pack. Oh yeah, it would have been gold. Like I would have been I would have been been in the juice tier, but you know, good times. It was a good deal between friends and you know, I'll get a couple of videos out of this and we'll have a good time. But yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for now and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.